This is Twit. So, so uh, the other day I went out for my walk, which I'm trying to do every day now. I didn't today because I had too many damn calls, but I went out for my walk. And I'm, I'm walking along, and there's a guy who looks about my age who goes zooming by on a uh, electric scooter. Um, uh, and then he comes back, and he says, are you Jeff Jarvis? And I said, yeah. And, of course, he's a fan. Nice. Of you, Leo, nice. of the shows. Thank you. So George, who works at Audible... Uh, came back by. We had a nice little chat, six feet apart. Oh, that's great. Far apart. Um, but it's and he's you know we've lived a uh, half mile from each other for God knows how many years. All the time I've been on the show, and we didn't know it until he came by because we're opened up. So this is what you were saying before. There are uh, things we should take advantage of in this weird time. I like should uh, also steer you to a guy I've known for years, Vince Racinello, who is a virologist and actually hosts a really good podcast that is very timely right now, This Week in Virology. He named it kind of, and maybe it even looks a little bit like the Twit yeah, colors and everything. Well, that's okay. Vince and I know each what other. Who do you think he is, Jason? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Vince. No, it's great. And it's a really uh, useful... Wow. Uh, it, so... I don't know how well known uh, this is. I think a lot of Twit fans know about it because uh, it, you know it kind of ran in parallel to uh, Twit for a long time. But uh, if it, it, that's all they're talking about, I'm actually, and I bet you, Stacy, you are too, fascinated now by viruses. Uh, the, the viruses are very interesting little beasties, aren't they? They are. Yeah. Back when I, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to be a genetic engineer. I, I love. I, I never love knew the way that. organisms. Oh yeah. Oh man. Biology was my first love. There is a yeah. uh, a great uh, video which uh, um, Steve Gibson recommended. It's a it must be German because it's a it's a YouTube video that translates to nutshell, and I highly recommend it on the coronavirus and its mechanism. And it's pretty easy to understand. Let me let me pull it up for you. I have it on my. Um, I have a oh Vince Russell, yeah, I already, I already had him you know, on my Vincent. list. Yeah, he's yeah. there. He's yeah. there. He's yeah, he's he's very good on the list. Yes, I have a uh, a whole page. This is my my COVID nineteen pages, including our temperatures, my journal of the plague year, uh, links and so wow. forth. But here's this uh, video. Um, Whoa. Yeah, I think you would. I think you would like this. It's uh, I'll I, check I, it out. Yeah, yeah. I think it's uh, German. Here, let me go to the YouTube page because I can see his. Uh, you would you would recognize this word, Jeff? It's what's uh, the? It's Kurtz Kurtz gesagt in a nutshell. This may be a former student of mine. This looks like the, 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 the this looks like the style of a former student of mine. No kidding. It's beautifully illustrated. Bacteriophages. Yes. Yeah, and he talks about you know one of the reasons the coronavirus is so susceptible to Ooh. soap and water is it, it as like I think all viruses it has a lipid shell, a mm -hmm. fat shell. Uh, and so that, of course, as you know, that's what soap does is it breaks down fat. Uh, and so, yeah, this is a really cute little video, I think suitable for the whole family because it's so colorful, but it's, as far as I can tell, very accurate scientifically. And it, uh, uh it's, uh, really well done. I think, you know, you see my okay. favorite hand washing video, the black goo on the, on the, uh, on the, oh, on yeah. the gloves. Yeah. Isn't that good? Yeah. That's the best. Yeah. So, but but I've yeah I've gotten very uh, interested in this whole thing, and of course there is some some speculation because what a virus does is it injects its RNA into a host cell and gets and tricks the host cell into transcribing it and, and making more of the virus, uh, thinking it's reproducing itself. There's some evidence that these that this this viral RNA has something to do with our own evolution that that without it we might not have evolved. Or it's certainly it's affected our own DNA. So I think that's kind of there's it's a it's a more symbiotic relationship than one would think, and uh, I you know, I find it fascinating. Yeah, not all viruses have lipid membranes. Okay, thank you. And they call it I didn't know this the coronavirus. The corona is the little spikes on mm -hmm. the outside of the virus. That's why it flu's a coronavirus, and that's how it uh, it takes a spike. It goes into the cell and says, "Here, have some RNA." That's my. It's like a crown. That's my. It's a crown. It's a crown with spikes. 